when I watched BTBT, the music video, so many people, so many people said, you need to watch the performance video, like so many people. So this makes sense because he did BTBT here and it's him, right? It's his song. So I'm going to check out the performance video. So we got BTBT, Soldier Boy, DaVita, got it, P.I. In Soul. The time on you, Lord, you know you get me loose, make me go bitter, bitter. I dance on me for two, daddy, but it's on you, Lord, it's only me and you, make me go bitter, bitter. You bring the demon out of me, then it all on your body, we might be an hour, we ain't got no time to waste. Come on, give on your job, and so no chumon, it ain't a jungle. Oh, I got plenty, I don't send them all, but a few there ain't many Said it when it rains, so I'm slow and I'm steady We can't move this slow on our belly, oh You say you need a true love, someone to kiss and hug Get you feeling for some touch, you yeah, ain't I could be all day and above, I just hope that I'm enough Cause I would never do this When my eyes are on you, so I care to touch on you Lord, you know you get me loose, make me go bitter, bitter That's why I love y'all Oh, I got plenty I don't see them all But if you didn't have any Said it when it rains So I'm so and I'm steady I can't move this slow to belly Oh, you say you need a true love Someone to kiss and hug You're feeling for some touch Ay, I keep you all that and above I just hope that I'm enough Cause I don't ever do this When my eyes on you So I care to touch on you Lord, you know you get me loose Make me go bitter, bitter Front, back, side to side. Pull up, then I drop the top on a new ride. Bust down, Cartier cost 35. 30,000 square feet in it, I stay fly. Red carpet, I was fresh suit and tie. Jumped off the stage, I don't even know why. Every time I drop a new hit, we on fire. Yeah, we going viral, I know that I inspired you. Jump on the jet, let's get away. Out of town, going somewhere away, can't be found. Bust down the Cartier, I came from the ground. They ain't no on a man in the town. Rolling up is how they was right out the bound. Don't look at my water, you gon' drown. Everybody know B Draco going down. When my eyes on you, so I care to touch on you. Oh, you know you get me loose, make me go bitter, bitter. I dance on me for two, that he put on you. Oh, it's only me and you, make me go bitter, bitter. I have some questions. So we, we learned when we saw the video, the music video, that the BTBT means to stumble, right? <clears throat> Keeping that in mind, now, obviously, this is a performance video, right? So, performance video, got it. It's not really telling a story, per se. Why the motorbike? Any theories? Any ideas? We start off and we end the video with a motorcycle. 
Any ideas? Is it lore? Looks cool, maybe. He explained in his version means that passionate feeling when you first meet someone or start a relationship, okay? It's hot, it's cool. Okay. Final answer, okay? Got it. So now let me ask you this. <clears throat> they're on a bridge? Are they? I thought they were on top of a building. That might be the most poorly constructed bridge I've ever seen. Could signify a different lifestyle. Um, yeah, maybe. Okay. Yeah. So here's my next question for all of you. And there's, there's, there's really no wrong answer. I'm asking your legitimate opinion. Okay. When I first mentioned this video, as far as the performance video, a lot of you got excited, right? And like I said, a lot of people said, don't watch the MV, watch the performance video. Okay. What is it about this video that gets you so excited? Like sincere question. I'm not saying I didn't enjoy it. Let me make that clear. I'm just curious as to what about this video makes you go wee the dancing. Corey 100%. Okay. The dance cruise. Got it. Okay, and that's kind of what I expected. Now, you can understand though, legitimately, I hope why I choose the MVs over the performance videos, right? And if you don't, you can say no, it's, I totally understand. Right. From a director aspect, the MVs make more sense, right? For me to kind of break down and it's a set and all that stuff. Now that stuff happens here too, but the choreo is kind of the main character. Okay. Um, and I totally get that. I was incredibly impressed with the choreo and I'll tell you, I'll even show you my favorite part. No, it wasn't this you sickos. It is Sunday. Get your head out of the gutters. There's a part here with one of the crews. We kind of break down into these little subunits. And then we get different dance styles from the crews. But one of the crews specifically has a really, really strong crump flavor. And I was liking that a lot. I don't even know why. Every time I drop a new hit, we on fire. Yeah, we it wasn't this here, but I'll point it out. Going viral. I know that I inspired you. Jump on the jet. Let's get away. Out of town. Going somewhere away. Can't be found. Bust down the car that I came from. Like right here, this guy specifically, he's what caught my eye. But they're both kind of doing this is great. And that right there, that transition coming out of that crew and back into this. Going down. This is kind of what I was hoping more for when everybody mentioned the performance video. Like, oh, if you liked the MV, you got to see the performance video. Because there are some performance videos that we have seen where there were transitions, there were lights, and it was like a whole production just in and of itself. And it blew me away. I didn't feel like this was that, and that transition was kind of what I was expecting. Don't look at my water, you're going to drown. Everybody know B Draco going down. And this shot was pretty great. This, I mean, there's a lot of stuff that I really liked about this. Don't get me wrong. This is nice too. This breakdown into more individuals. I like this. Bitter, bitter. Make me go bitter, bitter. 
The ending solos are the choreographers. Got it. Thank you, Rudy. Man, you got to really like Honey Nut Cheerios. I mean, do you think he got this jacket like after his 17th proof of purchase? That is commitment. I mean, maybe he's sponsored. I don't know. That is commitment, though. I didn't get this body and these moves from Cheerios. I got them from Honey Nut Cheerios. What? Okay. I love the song. I love the choreo. It's good overall, right? You can see why I go for the MV for sure. But um, but I chalk this one up to, well, actually, let me ask you. Uh, now, now I'm curious. Hmm. Something, something was brought to my attention not too long ago, maybe. Oh God, it could have been months ago at this point. I don't know what day it is. Um, where all of a sudden, when comebacks were happening or song releases were happening they would start also releasing these sped up versions of the songs. You know what I'm talking about, right? Where something is sped up by a certain amount. It's the same song, but it's sped up. And this is a thing. Well, I didn't know what the hell was. I thought it was like a troll, right? They're, oh, they got us again. It's a remix. Ha ha ha. But it was just like 200% speed or something. Um, and then somebody kind of informed me no this is for tiktok because i guess you do a, a a dance challenge and you do the dance you do the choreo but you do it at twice the speed or something yeah there's like a whole thing to it right so anyway so all that to say that yeah, I'm not a fan of they. I'm I'm hardly a fan of the remixes. There's just there's 9,000 of them and it's like okay, like everybody's streaming the songs as it is a lot and now you're going to throw like nine more versions that are just slightly different. I don't I'm not a fan of that, right? Um so with with the TikTok stuff, I can I, it makes perfect sense from a promotional standpoint to then create for more exposure to these songs that are released to do a choreo that people can do and then kind of throw it out there as like a trend, right? And then it catches on and then you get more exposure to the music. It makes perfect sense. Nothing wrong with that. That's kind of how the system works. I wonder if, I guess not even I wonder, I kind of know now because you told me, but initially my thought was, I wonder if, Everybody's so excited about these performance videos because they're of that age or TikTok generation-ish where the choreo is hands down everything that you live for and you're like, this is all of it. You know what I mean? Now, I don't think that's the case now that you've told me because I can absolutely respect the choreo. Like I said, I'm a huge fan of choreo in general down to Paris Goebel and the Royal family. And like, and I even saw some, some stuff in here that kind of gave me that vibe, not to say that they're interacting or there's inspiration back and forth. None of that, but I did see some pieces that were similar that reminded me of, of some of the Royal family stuff. Um, anyway, so where was I? Yeah, I was just curious about that. That's all. I think the, um, the choreo is solid. The dancers are great. I love seeing. I love the way that they, um, they kind of introduced each group ish. I don't know if that's the case, but it felt like there was kind of an introduction and a reveal to each group, and then towards the end they put them all together for this one big hurrah. And then, like you said, like Rudy said, you show the choreographers in the end individually. Very nice touch. Very well done. 